The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Philip found Nathaniel and told him, We have found the one about whom Moses wrote in the law, and also the prophets, Jesus, son of Joseph, from Nazareth. But Nathaniel said to him, Can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said to him, Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? And Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. And Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, to him Amen, amen, I say to you, you will see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. For a while, you know, this year we were very hopeful that finally makukuha na natin yung Olympic gold sa Tokyo. Hindi natuloy yung Olympic last July. Bakit nga ba naman kasi hanggang ngayon hindi pa tayo nananalo ng gold Hmm? Somehow we've been asking how come a country with more than 100 million population cannot yet produce a gold, and yet some of the countries na napakaliit pa kaysa sa atin ay may gold na. It's as, sim it's as if uh, we need this kind of validation in the global stage that finally earning a gold will put that in the mouth. Finally, there is something good that comes out of the Philippines in terms of sports. Many people actually hope, are hoping that yung drought na ito ay finally ay uh, mahinto na, but mukhang tutuloy-tuloy pa rin. Even among immigrants and OFWs, one can hear how most Filipinos living and working in another country are often admired for what? For being law-abiding citizens. Marunong naman palang sumunod sa traffic light. Marunong din naman palang pumila. Marunong din naman palang magtapo ng basura sa mga tamang lugar na napagtapunan. In other words, we're good. Kaya lang mostly kapag ka nasa ibang bansa daw. No? My dear friends, perhaps this is saying that something good can come out of our country in the Southeast Asia and that we don't have to be another state of the United States and recently we don't have to become a province of China so that something good can come out of the Philippines. No, there is already something good in this country. We are good even. You know, the context of the gospel is that Jesus is in a recruiting activity. Nagre-recruit siya ng kanya mga followers at natipuhan niya si Philip sa kasi Nathaniel. That when Philip is eager, Nathaniel is not doubtful. Especially that Jesus, the lineage of Jesus, is from a very small town of Nazareth. Some would even consider Nazareth as a backwater of the place in that area. No? Ano yung ibig sabihin ng backwater? No? Nakalimutan na insignificant. Pagka binabaha, doon na pupunta. No? Small, forgotten, insignificant. Then, uh, Jesus' rejection, you know, is often connected to that particular land of Nazareth. Some say that even the passage, his own, his own, 
those people with him in Nazareth did not even accept him and did not even receive him. So, it's something that is connected to the Nazareth as a backwater, the land of Nazareth. Then here comes Nathaniel, also asking sarcastically, hmm, is there anything good that comes out from a small, inconsequential, insignificant, and from my experience, sabi niya, ay walang, wala akong nakitang maganda that comes out of that town. And you know, yung sagot ng ating Panginoon is very indicative of what is important, what are the things important to Him. Una, when he told Nathaniel, here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Ah, kaya nga namang ha, si Nathaniel, how did you know? Paano mo ko nakilala? And the Lord continued, ah, even before Philip called you, alam ko kung saan ka nakalukluk at nakaupo, you were under the fig tree. And Nathaniel was amazed. It simply indicates that Jesus looks not on the physical appearances, but on the hearts of men, the disposition, what cannot be seen by the naked eye. It is what beats in us, what we think, what we hope for, what cannot be judged simply physically. Second, it really doesn't matter how insignificant from man's appraisal, the land of our beginning. I remember, I just cannot, I cannot uh, point out kung kanino nang galing ito uh, kay Ibs Kongar, but I was, we were told that it doesn't really matter your reason for entering the religious life. What matters eventually are the reasons why you persisted, why you persevered, in the religious life. It's, it doesn't matter kung nanggaling ka sa maliit na bayan ng uwas o sa maliit na bayan ng sulu o kaya sa maliit na bayan ng ilu-ilo o kaya doon sa kalayo-layuan na bayan ng bulakan. No. God calls us from our insignificant places. But what is important is what we make out in as we persevere in our lives. Third, when Philip encouraged Nathaniel to come and see, this also indicates that we too are called to become mediators. We too are called to become callers of people to come and see. If you do not believe me, come and see and encounter Jesus for yourself. In other words, we become preachers of encounter between God and and man, of those who have not yet heard of him or doubtful of him, come and see. My dear friends, ang ganda po ng Ibanghelyo, no? The backwater, the Nazareth, doesn't really matter. From the lowly sabsaban ng ating Panginoon, no? Uh, my dear, comes the light of the world. Uh, di ba? the light of the world. My dear friends, you might have missed the opportunity to win a gold medal in this 2020 Olympic. Perhaps to show the world that there is something good that comes out of the Philippines and that we do not need to become a state of the United States. And this time, we don't need to become a province of China. We have already encountered God in this place. So there is good, and never doubt that there is something good that comes out of our country. The good comes out every time we heed Philip's invitation. Come and see. In other words, we continue to preach to one another the importance and the beauty of encountering Jesus in our lives.